On the rear panel, there are eight antenna ports and a power interface. Connect antennas to the ports on the rear panel. Then plug one end of network cable into the LAN port and the other end to a switch. Next, insert the SIM card to the slot, the side where chip faces your hand. At last, connect the power interface of the device to a power source and switch on power. The default IP address of NeoGate TG is set as segment 5. If your computer is in a different network segment, we need to change it for a moment. Open IE. And enter the default IP address 192.168.5.150 and enter the login interface. Enter the default username admin and default password password. In the pull-down list of language, choose English and click Login. Click the System tab. Under LAN settings, you can change the IP address of NeoGate TG. Click Save and reboot the device to take effect. When NeoGate is rebooting, we change the IP address of the computer to its original address. Now we log in using the new IP address. The interconnection between NeoGate TG and Elastics can be achieved in three ways. We will demonstrate the most common way, peer-to-peer. -peer. For the other two ways, please refer to our configuration guide. Firstly, we do the configuration on TG web interface. Click Gateway. VoIP trunk. and add a VoIP trunk. In trunk type, choose Service Provider. And the type is SIP. Fill in the name. And the host name slash IP is the IP address of Elastics. 
The port is thirty four fifty sixty. Click Save and apply changes. We can check the connection status of the trunk. In Status, click Trunk Status. The status shows OK. Secondly, we need to configure Elastics. In PBX page, Click Trunks under PBX Configuration and add zip trunks. Define the trunk name. And in Trunk Details, enter the information of new gate TG. Click Save and Apply Changes. Next, we need to check the connection status between TG and Elastics. Click on Embedded Free PBX and enter the username and password. In Free PBX Admin Console, click Admin Tools and Asterisk CLI. In the command line, enter Zip Show Peers. and click Execute. We can see the connection is successful. First of all, we need to configure an outbound route on Elastics. Still in the PBX page, click Outbound Routes. Define the root name. And fill in the prefix. Select the zip trunk that we created previously. Save the configuration. Next, go to the web interface of NeoGate TG. We will group the mobile trunks first. Enter mobile trunk under gateway. And add a new mobile group. Define the name. and select the strategy. Move the mobile trunk from the left to select it. Click Save. Next, we will configure the route. Click IP to mobile. and add an IP to mobile route. If the simple mode is yes, then you only need to choose the call source and call destination. The rest of the settings will be the default ones. If you select no, you can configure more detailed settings. Fill in the route name.
The call source is the service provider trunk we created previously. You can configure the rest of the settings as needed. And the call destination is the mobile group we just created. Also configure the rest of the settings as needed. Click Save and apply changes. Now we will use the extension of Elastix to call an external number through mobile trunk of NeoGate TG. The external number rings. The number displayed is the number of the mobile trunk picked by NeoGate TG in the mobile group. Configuration is only needed on NeoGate TG. Click Mobile to IP and add a new route. Decide if you want to use simple mode. Then define the route name. The call source is the mobile group we created. Configure the dial pattern and callback as needed or skip it. The call destination is the service provider trunk we just created. Skip the rest if not needed. Click Save and apply changes. Now we use an external number to dial the mobile number of NeoGate TG. After the call is connected, dial the extension number of Elastix. The extension rings, pick up to answer the call. 